Can the Wisconsin Supreme Court uh, return democracy to the state? Yes. Our maps, I think, violate our constitutional right to vote because the the whole idea of the right to vote is that your vote should be able to determine the outcome. And our maps are drawn in a way that most Wisconsinites have no say in who represents them in the state legislature or the, or, or the Congress. The Princeton Gerrymandering Project analyzes every state's maps and gives every state a score for partisan bias. The second biggest partisan bias of any state legislative chamber in the country is the Wisconsin State Assembly, and the single highest is the Wisconsin State Senate. Every other state with a very intense partisan gerrymander, those maps were drawn by a governor and a legislature of the same party. In Wisconsin, we have a Democratic governor who vetoed the Republicans' gerrymandered maps, and then the state Supreme Court chose the Republicans' maps. The so-called nonpartisan judicial body just decided to use the most extreme maps in America, it is the most extreme court in the country, skewing, taking a state that's voted for Democrats in 80% of the last 17 statewide elections, and then choosing legislative maps that put Republicans on the verge of a supermajority in both chambers of the state legislature and give them six out of eight congressional districts. It is so anti-small-D Democratic. It is preposterous. This Supreme Court election could lead to a court that could actually look at the constitutional arguments and demand new maps this decade. So this could affect our congressional delegation you know, within the next few years, the state legislature within the next few years. And let me also add, this Supreme Court justice will be on the court in 2031 when we have the next round of redistricting. The impact on the state is so vast. If Dan Kelly wins and we stick with the current maps, in 2022, under these ultra-partisan maps, even while we won the governor's race by 3.4 percentage points, we came within one-tenth of one percentage point of the legislative votes of Republicans having super majorities in both chambers. If they get super majorities in both chambers, they can rewrite whatever law they want, override the governor's veto. They were openly talking about totally changing the way elections are run, essentially to lock in rep Republican control in a way that would affect not just state legislative seats and the governor, but also Senate races like Tammy Baldwin's presidential races. I mean, they can put their thumbs on the scale. They will get super majorities in some upcoming election cycle and be able to rig the state from six ways to Sunday. So it's a choice between having a, a state that is right on the precipice of being completely rigged to ensure Republican dominance or having a democracy.